The title of this particular piece is Quantum Foam. Again, I started with the colors and the motions, the movement, um, energies, energies, possibly into entities, but probably not. Probably plank length size or smaller. And what I realized was that I was creating foam. Now, I had just read all about how it is that when you get down to the smallest, 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 smallest part of reality that no one can even imagine, the theoretical equations of the uh, quantum physicist get lost. Everything just kind of goes into one big, gigantic foam thing, which is why this is quantum foam because it felt as though there are solid pieces that are conceivable, perceivable from us, by us. And then there's quantum foam. Everything is so small that it just begins to foam for us. But there's still the energy, there's still the dynamism, there's still the potential of going into becoming an entity. The piece over here, is titled Strange New Symmetry. And with this, um, I did have a prior thought before approaching this canvas. I was dealing with the idea of how um, quantum physics has this very strange concept of symmetry that for me on either side of a zero plus one balances with minus one. But for them, and dealing with these subplank, subatomic things that move, it doesn't do that. Something that's one and a half might, might be symmetrical to something that's three, or, and I'm probably putting them together wrong. But it doesn't matter because the point is, I don't understand it. Which is why it's strange to me, but it's still symmetry. So in terms of painting symmetry that's also strange, this piece is symmetrical with that piece if we're going according to strange new symmetry where it really doesn't have a symmetrical side in terms of our regular understanding. What I found about this was very interesting. I do truly believe in the, micro the similarity, if not uh, the exact replication of the microcosm and the macrocosm. Everything that's very, very small, subplanklin, I feel is mirrored or reflected in what is very, very large, like the greater cosmos. So when I represent something very small, like the um, split in the Calabriau form, that's so infinitesimally small that no one can see it, I'm also representing uh, nebulae that can be seen by the Hubble telescope. But I'm not consciously doing that because consciously I'm down at the smallest level. This particular piece did something very interesting to me. I'm dealing with symmetry. I'm dealing with opposites. So with this piece, it taught me something else. As I was saying, most of my pieces teach me something about the way reality really is. And this confirmed for me that the microcosm and the macrocosm can truly be the same. So much depends on our perspective.